Hello everybody. Welcome to Sermon on the Go. Today I'm continuing my series on the winning formula. The winning formula. Nobody wants to lose in life. Everybody wants to win. And as a child of God, there is a formula to winning. When you want to solve a mathematical problem, they say here is the formula. They give you a formula. And if you follow that particular formula, you will get the desired results. As a child of God, there is a formula to winning in the kingdom of God. The formula to winning is simply getting God on your side. In the New Testament, we read in the book of Romans, If God be for us, who can be against us? David said in the book of Psalms, The Lord is on my side. I will not fear what anyone will do to me. David won all battles of life. There was no battle that David was defeated. If the whole world is on your side and God is not on your side, you will still lose in life. God will not be for you. Neither will God be on your side until you accept certain responsibilities and principles. There are facilitators to move God to back you in every endeavor of life. The second formula for winning is that you must love soul winning. What do I mean by that? Well, soul winning is simply telling people about the love of God in Christ Jesus. In the 15th chapter of the Gospel of John, Jesus says something that is very profound. He said, you did not choose me, but I chose you and I appointed you that you should go and bear fruit and that your fruit should remain. And whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give it to you. To go and bear fruit simply means to tell people about the love of God in Christ Jesus. It's to tell people about the love of God that you and I have received through Jesus Christ. To win a soul means you are spreading the gospel. You are telling people that, look, I have experienced something by following Jesus. I have experienced the goodness of the Lord in my life by following Christ. And I invite you, I extend that invitation to you to come and see, as Jesus said to Philip and Nathaniel, come and see and you too will experience that goodness upon your life. That is what it means to win a soul for God, to win a soul for the kingdom of heaven. Jesus said, For I say to you, like Christ, there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over 99 just persons who have no need for repentance. My dear friends, the Bible is saying here, that there is more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over 99 just people who don't need any repentance. There is more joy in heaven if you are able to share the gospel with people who don't believe, with people who don't go to church, with people who don't follow Christ. There is more gladness in heaven. And if you make God glad, Whatever you sow, you shall prosper. Because what you make happen for God, God will make happen for you. The second formula for winning, the second formula for getting God on your side, the second facilitator to move God, to back you in every endeavor of life, is that you must love so winning. You must love telling people about the love of God in Christ Jesus. And therefore, as you win souls for God, as you tell people about the love of God in Christ Jesus, whatever brings sadness in your life, whatever brings sorrow in your life, whatever brings troubles in your life, God will put an end to that. God will take it away and he will move it away from your life. 
My dear friends, every soul winner touches the heart of God. When you do that which God cannot do for himself, God will do for you that which you cannot do for yourself. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day that you've made. We thank you for the gift of life. And I thank you for all who are with me today online. I pray that you will bless, protect and guide them. We thank you for your word this day. And we thank you that we must love soul winning. We must share the gospel of Jesus Christ. We must share the love of God in Christ Jesus. And so, Heavenly Father, inspire us with your spirit. Enable us to share the gospel of Jesus Christ and the love of God in Christ Jesus. Amen. Friends, tomorrow starts the season of Lent and it is my practice to fast and pray during the whole season of Lent. What do I mean by fasting? Well, fasting is a time set aside to seek God. When we fast and pray, it opens the heavens so that we might experience God's outpouring power and blessings in our lives and in our society. And during that time, you don't eat anything at all. You don't eat food or drink any fluids. That is one type of fasting. There are, there are other types of fasting, which I will explain after next Tuesday. Next Tuesday will be the last episode on the winning formula and after that I will do some teaching on fasting and I will explain all the different types of fasting but just to make you aware that during the season of Lent it is my practice to fast and pray and for those of you who knows how to fast and pray please I encourage you to join me during this season of Lent I will be fasting from Monday to Friday. I won't be fasting during the weekends, but I'll be fasting from Mondays to Fridays. So please join me if you can. If you don't know how to fast or you haven't done it before, please don't attempt it, don't do it. Wait until you hear me explain what it means to fast and pray. Then perhaps you can join in the fasting and prayer. And during this period, Let's pray for the situation with the coronavirus. Let's pray for the government, the prime minister and his cabinet. In my opinion, they have done extremely well. The Bible encourages us to pray for our leaders. So during this Lent and during this period of fasting and prayer, let's pray for the government and all members of parliament. Let's pray for the leaders of this country and the leaders of the world. Let's pray that God will put an end to this terrible pandemic, to this terrible disease that have overtaken humanity. Let's pray that God will put an end to this disease. I shall see you on Thursday. Shalom. Peace. <laughs>